Good morning to the Point Church. Pastor Sergeant here just wanting to come to you on this Monday. And uh, we are three weeks basically into uh, our whole social distancing, not able to gather together with certain amount of people. So we're here and uh, it's, it's moving forward. It's uncomfortable. It's something that is a little interesting to navigate, but I do believe that God is working in the middle of this. So many different ones from our church have reached out to me through this time and told me of miracles that God has provided, not only in their lives, but in friends and backsliders and people that maybe have been estranged from God. And so I'm thankful for that. Got a report last night that people from another country are watching our online services and uh, are being blessed. So I'm thankful for that. And uh, I miss everyone as it's already been stated. It was so great to see everybody on Saturday that was able to make it out to our parking lot prayer. We'll be doing that again. We'll have more information through the week. I was, um, I was reading early this morning the story of the lame man at the pool of Bethesda in John chapter 5. And what, what was brought out to my attention was the fact that Jesus approaches this man. The Bible says he had been there for several years. I think it was 38 years he had lain there um, at the pool. And we know the story that once a year an angel would come down, trouble the waters, first one into the water would be healed. Uh, was able to go to the pool of Bethesda uh, back a couple years ago when we went to Israel, my wife and I. But something, something kind of stuck out with me in this story this morning. I've read this passage, dear Lord, I don't know how many times, but uh, something stuck out to me that I thought was interesting. The Bible says that Jesus approaches him and says, what, what do you need, basically? Are, are you willing to be made whole? And the man says, sir, I have nobody to put me in the water. His thinking was simply this, this is the way I've always expected my miracle to come. And uh, I probably should edit this part out, get a little emotional, but I just wanted to share my heart today. This man was expecting his miracle to come in a certain way dependent on certain set of circumstances. And Jesus looks at him and says, will you be made whole? And he instantly goes back to his default, if you will. The default of, well, this is the way it's always been. I think we're in that right now where so many people are so intent on the default, so focused on, well, we can't reach people because we're not gathered together in a building. We can't do great things right now because of the circumstance in our nation and in our world. Could it be that God is shifting our focus for this season? That God is shifting our gaze to look at the harvest field maybe a little bit different? I know it's, it's hard to wrap our mind around some of this sometimes. And I'm just speaking from my heart. I have no script this morning. I have no notes. I'm just speaking from my heart, what God placed upon my spirit. Maybe God is disturbing the nest, so to speak. Maybe God is putting us into a position that we recognize that we have to place our hope in the Lord. Our trust has to be in God. We cannot do things the way that we've always done it, leaning on the arm of the flesh. You notice the man at the pool says, I have no man. I have no individual to put me into the water when it's troubled. People get there before me. Basically, he is saying that, you know what? I'm dependent upon flesh. God's saying, I'm trying to get the church to quit depending on flesh. I'm wanting the church to depend on me. So as we start this week, as you go about your routine, it's probably disrupted some, but as you go about your routine this week, as you go about the things that you have to get done, may your trust be in the Lord. 
Proverbs 3 tells us, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will. He will direct our paths. I pray for each of you daily. I call your names, your families out to the Lord. I'll be doing more of that this afternoon. I'm just trying to spend extra time praying for each of you. I know God's got good things, and I know this is going to pass, and I know we're going to get in, we're going to get to the other side. But while we're here, let's focus, let's get intentional, let's put our trust in the Lord. I love and appreciate each of you. Until tomorrow, or whenever I post another video, may God richly bless you.